one of our sport's greatest ambassadors, Haley Wickenheiser, as an honored member. Arguably the greatest woman to ever play Canada's game, inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame. That feels really great to be amongst the best in the game and knowing that there's a place for a little girl somewhere and anywhere in the world to do the same. In Haley Wickenheiser's trailblazing career, the kid from Shaunavon, Saskatchewan became the women's program's all-time leading scorer, winning seven world championships and four straight Olympic gold medals. She also made history in 2002 by joining the men's team in Finland, angering some. Honestly, I think she should stay with a woman's hockey. And inspiring others. You should feel like you can, any girl can play as long as they just want to. Young girls can see that they've got an opportunity to have an unbelievable hockey career like Haley has had. But at the same time as Wickenheiser's achievements are being celebrated here, the women's hockey movement that she helped to pioneer appears to be moving in reverse. The CWHL, where many of the women's stars play, folded suddenly at the end of last season, citing a failure to cover its costs. I kind of hoped that things would be a little bit better now. This former CWHL All-Star grew up dreaming of becoming a professional player. But when the league folded after its 12th season, she decided to hang up her skates. I can't um, dedicate my life anymore to something that's uncertain, where the future is uncertain. Where players dash with skates aflash, the home team trails behind. She and other players recently launched a campaign to pressure the NHL to support a women's league. But industry analysts aren't optimistic. It's very tough. It's tough to get people out to watch, you know, sports. And women's hockey is one of those sports that has a challenging time. If Wickenheiser had been an NHL star, she could likely retire. Instead, she's now working for the Maple Leafs while simultaneously completing a medical degree. I love being out on the ice. It's uh, much better than writing a med school exam. <laughs> Jeff Semple, Global News, Toronto.